series of videos based on presenters or with the with guests that are presenters of the BBC, the Building Business Capability, the greatest conference in business analysis in the world that's going to happen in the end of June. And today I have the pleasure to have as my guest, Sasha Aganova. Hello, Sasha. Thank you for coming. Hi, Fabrizio. Thank you for having me here. Oh, it's my pleasure. Sasha, I have for you today a question that it's two questions in one, right? The, the question is, why is business transformation so hard and what can we do to make it easier? Right. Well, I'm sure you know, that's not an easy question. There are so many components to change and especially to the large transformation that organizations go through. There is people, there are process, there is uh, technology, of course, all of the aspects of it. And that's what makes it so complex. It's not enough just to think and, and envision the future state. And you might have already some specific things that you know exactly how to get to, but there are so many intricacies of it. There are so many complexities within each of the domains, as I said, from people, process, and technology. And when you look at it as a cumbersome as it is, in totality, it is overwhelming. So how do you actually understand every single component? How do you a little bit un you may untangle the, the complexity um, and then all of the supporting, comp supporting components like having a right leadership, having a uh, right sponsorship who's going to take you throughout uh, from the very beginning, from the vision to the end state. How do you make sure they have the right SMEs, right? That the right knowledgeable and have access throughout and from the very beginning to the very end. So they stick with you, um, not from only designing perspective, but also sustainability perspective. How do you make sure that it's not done once? It's not perceived that you do it once, you implement it, you have to go live, and that's it, you're done. This is also cannot be done. So all of these components make it so, so complex. And by the way, as all we know, you still have to transform while you're keeping the lights on, right? The business is not it's not waiting for you to say, okay, yeah, let us wait for a little bit, for a couple of years until you've done with this transformation. We still have to ship. We still have to deliver the services while this transformation is going ahead. And by the way, adding the complexity because of the external things that happen, like pandemic, like shortages of supply, like a shortage of talent, and a lot of other things. So that's what everything, whatever I mentioned, is making this complex. I understand it. And it's interesting when you say about the enormous amount of things that you had to think about business transformation. And someone could argue, oh, just make it smaller. Let's make in small chunks of transformation. But that those small chunks does not take all the complexity out because they are interconnected with all the other stuff that uh, you have to, 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 to figure out how, what, what is that small transformation will impact in the whole. And so the second part of my question is what I'm still expecting. What can we do to make it easier? That's it, Faricia. So that's, that's a single, if I would have, you know, here's a single bullet, everybody would never, never, ever have a problem with that. <laughs> uh, but, but you nail it to the point. So first of all, there's no one, one methodology. Right, and the way what worked for us, so uh, Cross Renewal Group, we've delivered over, for over 20 years, more than a hundred projects around the world with a different level of complexities. Um, and 
I don't have any, you know, here's a silver bullet. But there are a lot of things and rigorous things. If you apply, you will be successful. Mm -hmm. so of, of course, what you mentioned is right on. So even if you break the big transformation to smaller pieces, things like program management, project management becomes very, very important. Another thing, and it's absolutely, I know we, we are concentrating, especially building business capability more on the business analysis as well as business process, project, uh, business process management. But we should not forget that things like project management as well change management are so critical. It's like all four legs to the stool, right? Um, so absolutely should not forget about that. But if I go back to our business analysis as well as business process management part of it, well, you start with a business architecture. That's one of the things that absolutely will drive and at least will align all of the transformation. It looks not only where we want to become, what we want to do, as well as where we are and make sure that we understand the gap that needs to be breached. And that will help us to build that, as you're saying, Fabrizio, from, you know, very tactical way of the roadmap from today to to be current architecture intermediate one as well as the final so it structures the conversations it untangles uh, from all the perspective of the business architecture it drives our process architecture so we know what processes we'll have to put together as we go and then from processes as well of course it's going to drive every single thing other aspects of the people and technology what needs to be changed as well right so i think what is very very important for us it is that structure and untangle the complexity it is to use the tools that we know things like a business architecture like a process architecture and absolutely make sure that expertise from the business analysis as well the change management and the project management are all aligned and we're all going together towards the same goal Nice, nice. I, I like this idea. It, 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 despite we have a lot of different disciplines, we have to align those disciplines in, in into the same the same track or into the same route. I know that you are doing a presentation at the Building Business Capability Conference yeah. called "Living the Dream: Turning Strategic Intent into Operational Results." How does that presentation helps people to understand how can they live this dream as well? Well, it's exactly that because it is a spotlight uh, session. We're going to do it on Wednesday at 10.30 and please, please come. Uh, we will give some exact, um, I'm actually bringing the uh, example um, and we're going to show all of the connections, how everything is interconnected and linked, um, how KPIs drive the conversation and makes it an evidence-based conversation to eliminate a lot of gaps between different areas of uh, of transformation so please come to our session uh, we will bring you and show you this rigorous approach that uh, that that does work and again this is our lessons learned based on so many different projects that we've done successfully um, and uh, we'll show you we'll show you the tools so and hopefully we'll motivate you to take over uh, some difficult transformations and either support your clients or do it yourselves real nice real examples for real life and some proven techniques and, and, and ways of all thank you very much Sasha. i won't miss that My and pleasure. i hope to see you soon at bbc absolutely i'll see you there can't My wait bye. 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 <laughs>